Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Erin and I love books and I, I like talking to people online about books, so welcome. Judging books by their covers. We all do it. Everybody does it. I don't care how many primary school teachers say to you, you shouldn't judge books by their covers. You do, and you should, because some covers are terrible. However, the book on the inside is pretty great. So maybe you shouldn't, I don't know. Either way, that's what we're doing today. We're judging books. We like to talk about the innards of a book trope. The, the inside of a book is very tropey, usually. But covers have annoying tropes too. Covers do things that make me want to tear my hair out. Because it's just like, why? So we're gonna start with some things I hate. Contemporary romance book covers. What, okay. Okay. Some contemporary romance novels don't have bad covers. I mean, this became iconic and it just became like a theme for the rest of the next two years contemporary YA novels. And then we had I'll Give You the Sun. It looks like they were designed by the same company. They don't tell you anything about what goes on on the inside of the book, but they still grab your attention. What the hell is this? And this, and this as well. They're so boring. What does this tell you? I don't like this book to begin with, but the cover helps nothing. If you walked into a bookstore and you saw this versus the new one, which one would you pick up? John Green, I thought better of you. Why? It's literally a ripple of water with a glossy heart over the top that looks like it doesn't belong there. Can anyone explain to me why? If you went into a store and you had not read anything by John Green before and you had no idea who this author was, would you even pick it up to read the blurb on the back? I wouldn't. I only bought this because I'd read The Fault in Our Stars and I wanted to see what else he had and it turned out that The Fault in Our Stars was my favorite book of his. And then this! The statistical improbability of love at first sight. I can't speak. Why is it such a tongue twister title? Why? That was a tongue twister. Tongue twister title. These ghosty like people, and then these guys in a heart, and we know that they're probably stupid based on the title. They fell in love at first sight. They're pretty damn stupid. Why would I pick up this book? Which is actually begs the question, why do I own this book? When did I buy you? We want pretty things. Give us stained pages or like like pretty shapes on the cover or like nice colors, like bold and beautiful colors, not like a person sitting on a park bench. This next book, I love this book. I love this author. I met this author and I have signed copies. But my problem is they had a particular name and cover design for book one. And then when they came to publish book two, they not only changed the title of book one, they also changed the cover. And while I get like the covers that they went with, the new ones were really pretty. I was like, they did a good job. But now my books are mismatched. It started off as The Gathering Dark by Lee Bardugo and we had this really, really nice cover. There's nothing wrong with this cover. I like it. It's also signed. And then they changed the entire direction they were going with the book because they changed it from The Gathering Dark to Shadow and Bone. And then the next one was Siege and Storm. So now, and then the next one was Ronan Rising. And now, as beautiful as these new covers are, because they are, they're beautiful. Look at the fiber that's beautiful. They don't match! And now that means I have to go out and buy another copy of this book to match these ones. But if I'm gonna buy another copy of this book, I wanna get it in hardcover. Which means that once again it wouldn't match! Which means I have to get the whole series again in hardcover! I actually... I actually like that idea. Although sometimes this is necessary. Like if you look at the original cover for Unwind, this is a trash cover. Whereas the new cover is quite good. I can get on board with that because this is ugly. But when it's pretty, why change it? Faces on covers. I hate it. I mean, I'm guilty of it because everyone does it. My books have faces on them. But the thing is, they're not photographs. I get annoyed with photos of people on the covers of book because like, it's not an, an artist's interpretation. It's an actual face. And I wanna pick the face that belongs to the character I'm reading about. Oh, I just, I want a uh, just detailed description in the book, but I don't want anybody sullying my image of what this person looks like. You look at this. This is beautiful. But the thing is, it's an artistic impression. It isn't her actual face. So I still have room in my head to imagine her like looking like me. I self-project into every character. Lysandra, Manon, Aelin. They all look like me. Does anyone else do this? Even if the character's like, she's got dark hair and she's tall and her eyes are brown, I'm still like, it's me. What was I talking about again? A full face on the cover irritates me. I want to choose 
what this person looks like. Next, shirtless men on covers. I mean, we all love this series, don't get me wrong, but why is his shirt off? Why do we have to be introduced as a teen book with a guy with his shirt off? I go into bookstores all the time, or into like any, like a Target, and they'll have these like shelves covered in these books with men with their chests up, and I just go, trashy. Like, no judgment, if you enjoy your trashy reads, enjoy them. They're fun. But why put a shirtless man on a cover of a book that isn't a trashy book? Another great example of this is this copy of Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind is not a sexual book. But what do you know? She's here with her boobies hanging out. So why book cover designers do you have to make books that aren't sexy look sexy? You get some YA novels with amazing covers, extraordinary out of this world, make you drop dead and die because they're so beautiful. Like Crescent City by Sarah J Maas, this cover is to die for and then the original art on the inside and then on the other hand with YA, you get covers like this. What are you doing? You're walking in a field? Why spend the money to have this printed and sell it when it has such a boring cover? Another thing that bothers me that I didn't notice until I moved to Australia. Growing up in South Africa, we didn't get a lot of hardcover books in the store. And we only really got the, like, the stiff paperbacks, the sturdy ones. Like if you do this, it only flops a little bit. But then I got to Australia and I went to the bookstore to pick up some, some books and the book does this! Why? This is such a good book. Excellent story. If you haven't read it, you really should. But get in hardcover because why is it flopping so much? Look at these in comparison. Do the book justice and give it a decent paper. I know there are a lot of people who love the flop. I don't love the flop. Someone who loves the flop, please tell me why it is so popular. One of my biggest pet peeves of all time is when they release the sequel of a book and it is skinnier than the one that came before it. For example, A Court of Mist and Fury is 624 pages. The next book is 705 pages. Do you see a difference? That is marginally smaller than that. And that is longer. Why? Like they print the book on these super thin pages that are like the Bible and then you're scared when you're turning the page that it's gonna rip and then you have to be super careful when you kind of want to be rough with it because you're panicking and you want to see what's on the next page but you can't panic and just turn the page because you might rip the book and then it's just like what do I do? What do I do? I know it would be a very fat book but here's the thing, readers want fat books. I want this to look like an actual 705 page book. I want this to be double the thickness because it makes me feel like a boss when I finish it. Look how thin this is, you just have to be, oh, okay. I don't wanna do that. Do you ever look at your favorite books and wonder how much of the characters' personalities you've absorbed into your own personality and now wonder if there's something really wrong with you because you are just a combination of about 50 million fictional people? No? Just me? Okay. And last but not least, the A Court of Thorns and Roses books by Sarah J Maas are well loved. And when I say well loved, I mean everyone loves them. You cannot tell me that these are not pretty. You can't tell me that they are not beautiful. Sure, they're a little tropey because it's a girl with half her face on the cover, but tell me these are not better than this crap. Why? 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 I know that we're changing them to be all like adulty because we're going into an adult genre now, but then you look at Crescent City. That's an adult book and that has an amazing cover and now we have pink stuff on Akawar. Why is it pink? Not that I have anything against pink, but pink doesn't make me think of war. And we just gotten the new title for the Cassie and Anessa book, A Court of Silver Flame, and now I'm worried that the covers are gonna be stupid and pink. Why are we making them ugly? Is it just me? Is anybody else upset? I guess that kind of wraps us up. Thank you for watching. My name is Erin and I make videos twice weekly on this channel. I do writing vlogs because I'm writing a book on YouTube and then crap like this where I just be ridiculous on camera. So if you like ridiculousness, this is the place for you. So remember to hit the subscribe and the bell so that you get notified when I post a new video. I think that's like the smoothest delivery of my outgoing message that I've ever done. Anyway, 